I feel 110% great. And another project you have with Mia Vardalos that you're writing, is that you're writing oh, another movie with Mia Vardalos? It doesn't take place in Greece, but it's called Larry Crown, and we're going to start making it in a couple of, in about eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And would you like to tell us, there are some rumors in Greece that you may be the spokespersons, or they approach you to do some um, work with the Greek Ministry of Tourism, to be their honorary spokesperson. I just read that somewhere. In uh, I hear it from you. If you have your finger on the pulse of it, uh, look, I, I think every Greek I've met is the spokesperson for the, you know, the Greek Ministry of Tourism. Uh, how Greek do you feel being married to a Greek? I feel 110% Greek being married to a Greek. I'm, but I, I'm more Greek than a Greek is because I had the good sense to marry a Greek. Some Greeks marry non-Greeks. Can you believe that? Is it hard to be married to a Greek? It's joyful being married to a Greek. Come on. It's fantastic. Because they're human stories that you know, if we were making Star Trek, we'd be really into Star Trek. I'd want to play a guy from Life Sciences. I'd want to play a Vulcan because I think they're the coolest guys in the world. And when it comes time to, to uh, defeat the Romulans, I'd want to do it in a, in a grand and unique way. This is, you know, the, the history aspect of it, you know, taking the genre and demystifying and taking the myths and turning it into real human beings. That's fun. But what's important is, is that we make stories about guys who will make you think, geez, I wonder what I would do under the same circumstances. No, I'm going to tell you right now. It's from the best years of our lives. It's the moment when Frederick March walks into the apartment that he left at the beginning of the war. He was an infantryman, and his daughter recognizes him, and his son recognizes him, and he goes like this, and he tans, and Myrna Loy, his wife, senses his physical presence and turns around, and he has not, they have not seen each other probably for three and a half years, and he came back alive. That's my favorite moment. It's all a mystery to me. I wish I had powers of clairvoyance. The, uh, this is this is we we shoot for a, a we, we shoot for a degree of authenticity, and we shoot for a certain scope of the horizon. We hope to get. Uh, uh, look, I have to say it's it's beyond my imaginings. This is better, deeper, more profound, more moving, more troubling, more specific than I ever thought it was going to be. So we won the lottery as far as that.